Hey everyone, it's Colin, how's it going? In a previous video, I did a review and installation walkthrough of the front light kit in a Game Boy Color. And if you watched that video, you may remember at the end of it, I explained that I wasn't really all that happy with the results. I found the picture quality to be kind of washed out, kind of blurry. It just didn't look very good to me. But I did admit that I had done a fairly basic installation of that front light kit in order to keep things simple. There is a more advanced installation that you can do with that kit, and I explained as such, but I wasn't really sure what kind of difference in quality you would get. After thinking about it for a while, I figured, you know what the hell, let's just go for it. Let's do the advanced installation of the front light kit and see what kind of difference we can get. It may actually make this mod a lot more feasible if you do it this way. Starting off, the advanced version of this mod is the same as it is with the basic installation. You want to take the Game Boy Color apart, pull the LCD screen out, peel the foam off the back in order to make a little bit more room inside the case, and then cut a couple of notches in the front panel for the wires for that front light to pass through. But here's where things get a little bit different. We're going to need an extra supply, and it's called LOCA. That's an acronym for Liquid Optically Clear Adhesive. It's basically a special glue that dries completely transparent. You can see straight through it. Lay your front light panel face down, and if it has one, peel off any sort of reflective tape on the back side. This will help us get an even more flush fit between the panel and the LCD screen. Clean this panel as best you can. Any sort of dust or fingerprints that are left on the back side of the panel will be visible in the final result. You'll also want to do the same to the front of the LCD screen. You'll want to apply the loca in kind of an X-shaped pattern like I'm doing here. The idea is to not have any space in the middle of the blob of loca where a bubble or air pocket could form. You want all the air to get pushed out the sides. Then, with your LCD panel, drop it on the loca face down, so the back side of the LCD is facing up. I like to kind of hinge it down instead of dropping it straight down because that can also help force any air out the sides. Again, you really don't want bubbles in here because they're very difficult to get out. Another thing you'll notice is that the loca is kind of runny so that the LCD panel will slide around a bit on the front light panel for a little while until things start to tack up. Here's probably the most difficult part, and that is flipping the entire unit over. We need to do this because LOCA cures with UV, basically a UV lamp or sunlight is what I'm using in this case. So we need to flip the whole thing over so that the sunlight or UV can pass through the front light and cure the LOCA, get it to firm up. This is why I did it on a paper towel so I could easily flip the whole thing over. Try to reposition that front light as best you can, get it squared up with the panel, and if you do see any kind of bubbles, try to kind of work the front light panel around a little bit to get them worked out. If worse comes to absolute worse, you can pull the front light off, apply more loca, and reapply it to try and get some of the bubbles out. Don't worry about getting loca on the thing edge to edge. You can see here, I've got a couple of corners where it didn't really get pushed all the way out to. That doesn't matter because those are outside the viewing area of the LCD itself, and you'll never notice it when it's reinstalled in the Game Boy. At this point, you'll wanna let the thing cure for, they say about 20 to 30 minutes. I gave it a good hour or so just to be safe. But even after half an hour, I did notice that that front light was very firmly attached to the LCD at this point. There's really no way to get them apart again, which is why getting them glued together correctly to begin with is so important. Once it cures, you're pretty much going to have to live with it. At that point, once everything has cured up, it's just reassembly like usual. Drop the whole front light LCD assembly back into the front panel, route the wires, install the motherboard and solder the cables to the power points on the circuit board itself. What I noticed here is a dramatic difference in quality versus not using LOCA. What the LOCA does is it allows the light to pass much more cleanly through the front light and off of the LCD itself. Without the LOCA, there's a little bit of an air gap there between the front light and the LCD, and that's where I think a lot of that kind of murkiness or washed out 
kind of effect comes from. With the Loka, it fills in that gap and really gives you a much better kind of optical sandwich. It isn't perfect, of course. It, you're still dealing with older LCD technology and a front light is never going to be the best way to illuminate an LCD. But it's a significant margin better than using the front light without Loka. The best part is Loka itself is pretty cheap. I bought this tube for about six bucks on eBay and there's enough left in here for me to do at least three or four of these mods. So if you are interested in doing this Game Boy Color front light mod, I recommend doing it at this point, but make sure that you do it the advanced way with Loka. I really don't think it's worth it if you're not willing to do this extra step. Of course, if you want the absolute best Game Boy Color playing experience, I still stick with my recommendation of simply playing the games on an AGS 101 with a proper backlight. But if you really are a fan of the Game Boy Color handheld itself, its hardware, its ergonomics, well, I think the mod is probably worth it. So if you liked the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Those help quite a bit. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at thisdoesnotcomp, and as always, thanks for watching.